Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Now, today's video is taking a slightly different slant, a slightly different topic. Many people ask me what I do to keep fit. Well, let me show you an amazing exercise that will invigorate you and re-energize you, right? Have a look at this. This is a sled. It's a metal sled. And as you can see, I've got different weights on it. I've got a 25 kilo, 10 kilo, 10 kilo, and two 2.5 kilos. Now, attached to the sled is a strap. And let me turn it around here. You'll see attached to my waist is a belt in which the strap is connected to. So the exercise itself is pretty simple. All you've got to do is pull the sled behind you, all right? So here I am, I'm going down uh, a track, a road, um, that I usually go when I pull in the sled, but you're probably wondering, what's the septic tank man on septic tank TV talking about sledding for? Because many people ask me what I do to stay trim, to keep fit, to get so much energy. Well, I do sledding. Now, sledding is one of the most effective exercises in the world but it's one of the most little known exercises in the world you know it's used by top athletes and that's about it um people who've had really bad car crashes use it and so why is it so effective well because it's a non-compressive exercise it isn't load bearing okay most exercises that you do, like squatting, uh, bench press, uh, shoulder press, etc., exercises like that, compress your spine. Now, obviously, when you use the right amount of weights, that isn't a problem. It builds muscle. But what's amazing about this exercise is it works in a way unlike any other exercise out there. It's better than running. It's better than weightlifting. It's incredible. And slowly but surely, athletes and people who are looking to get healthier around the world are slowly learning about the amazing benefits of sledding. Now, the main benefit of sledding is that although I'm expending energy now, to pull the sled, you can use different weights. I've worked up to these weights, so if you're doing it for the first time, obviously you'd have less weights on it. But what's amazing about this exercise is that, yes, you expend energy, but the more energy you expend, the more energy it gives you. Now that may sound contradictory, right? but it's not. Let me explain really simply why sledding is so amazing. As you get older, your metabolism slows down. So for argument's sake, when you're 15, 20, 25, your metabolism is running at full steam. That means that it burns fat. It's uh, produces just the right amount of testosterone, that absorbs the right amount of protein and carbohydrate that you need to get by every day, that you need to stay fit and healthy. Now, as we get older, our metabolism slows down. So we eat the same amount of food, but instead of converting those carbohydrates, those proteins, converting all of it 100%, it doesn't work as effective. So it doesn't burn fat like it used to when we were younger. So it stores fat, right? And so that fat uh, <laughs> is basically put onto areas like our bottom and our stomach, right? But what sledding does is it re-kicks in, kickstarts your metabolism, right? So whether you're 40, 50, 60, or 70, doing sledding once, twice a week will kick, start your metabolism 
back into how it was when you were 20, 25. And so not only does it burn all that fat and process food like it did do when you were younger, it also does something else, which is amazing. Right. Most of the organs, right, that give us problems as we get older are associated around our hips, around your hips and your pelvic area, right? So down there, in and around there, you've got your reproductive organs, you've got your legs, which are the most powerful parts, organs of your body. And so what it does, it actually compresses all the fast twitch, the medium twitch, and slow twitch muscle fibers. As we get older, these muscle fibers are like springs, right? And as we get older, they decompress, they uncompress, which means we find it harder to walk up the stairs, to go running, to do basic exercise. We get out of breath easier and quicker. And what sledding does, it recompresses those muscle twitch fibers compresses them as to when as to how they were when we were 20 25 and so what it's happening at the moment right is when i reach 50 right my muscle twitch fibers those springs in my legs in my arms in my lungs in my heart in my kidneys everywhere basically uncompress and when they uncompress my muscles get weaker okay but not just muscles that you use when you're working out like your biceps or your glutes or you know your leg muscles or your shoulder muscles and what about all the muscles on the cellular level so this compresses them right and so it makes you fitter and stronger sledding affects your heart in a way where no other exercise on earth affects it. Now, because it's uncompressive, it's really good for your knee joints, all right? It doesn't put strain on your knees like running does. Cardiovascularly, it flushes all that fat and cholesterol, right? Away from your heart, out of your arteries, right? Breaks it down into those toxins that you wee and poo out. And so you can see I'm pulling this, right? Now, yes, every form of exercise means to a degree you do get breathless, but that's a good thing because it means that my heart rate is working as it should do. It's pumping harder than it should do. Now this pumping means my heart is getting stronger. My valves in my heart are getting stronger. My legs are getting stronger. My hip joints, the sinews, the tendons around my hips are getting stronger. That means if you're 60 or 70, you fall over, right? You won't break, you're a lot less likely to break your hips. Another amazing thing is that sledding, as you get older, your bones get weaker and thinner, right? But the sledding actually reforms and rebuilds the bone strength back in your legs because it does something magical to the marrow inside your bones. So for all these reasons and more is why I sled. And the reason I've done this video is because if you've never done sledding, it really, really is worth having a crack at it. Now, if you haven't got a road like I've got the fortune of having near me, you just get a sled and pull it across the living room floor. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If the wife's gonna go mad, because <laughs> you're gonna wear the carpet out and do it down the garden, right? The length of your garden, go down, come back up, go down, come back up, X amount of times. Now, this sled I've got cost me about 50 quid. Uh, I think I got it from Rogue Fitness 
or again faster and uh, it's fantastic so sledding re-energizes you it actually scientists say they don't know how it is but it actually reverses your age yes we're still 70 right but how we think as we get older and we do less exercise right because look we live in a world where we're sitting down all the time we're driving everywhere we're not as mobile and as active as we used to be especially if you've got a desk job now sledding actually reverses right your mental capacity of how you process things in your brain it rebuilds and strengthens your eyesight your synapses in your brain uh, when I stop it's like when I stop sledding at times let's say I've got a flu I have a through three or four weeks and I stop sledding I really notice the difference between sledding and not sledding my mind goes foggy my mind goes sluggish, uh, sluggish. I don't think the same I think I'm more lethargic and I feel old again but I'm going to show you something in a minute yeah I'm puffing now I've been sledding for two years so you could say that I'm a seasoned sled puller so it doesn't have to be like this for you I have to load it up more the more you compress your springs and the better you get at it and the longer you've been doing it you've got to slowly build the weight up to compress those springs even more and to maintain that those springs stay compressed and so I'm going to show you something in a minute if you're waiting for me to collapse or fall in a heap then it isn't going to happen already you can see I was pulling it up a hill back there that's why I was puffing and panting a bit more than normal but you're going to see in a minute I'm going to show you just how magical sled pulling is already you can see and hear my body recovery I'm still pulling the sled and in a minute I'm going to stop I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show you just how much energy this gives you now yes like with any exercise you get endorphins right but I'm not on about a high right I hate sledding right I have to really force myself to come and do this exercise it's amazing how much we resist doing something we do so little of <laughs> but I've learned that this is an investment it invests right Man, I'm, I'm taking my belt off now look there you go and now <coughs> this is called a warm down now I've heard of a warm up but I learned afterwards many years later that you warm down so you gently come down now can you hear me now <coughs> my body going back to normal right my heart's starting to slow down <coughs> my breathing is starting to slow down to go back to the baseline <coughs> now since I started sledding my ankles have become stronger my knees have become stronger because it's non-compressive my hips my heart my lungs <coughs> my liver what happens is you always want to wee after you've been sledding right and <coughs> why that is is because it flushes all the toxins out of your body into 
your kidneys and your liver and it flushes them out. So if you're taking tablets, heart tablets, <coughs> whatever kind of tablets you're taking because you've got health problems and this flushes all the crud out of your system and into the loo, making you feel better mentally. Now, can I tell you how energized I feel? You wouldn't believe it. I feel on top of the world. It's absolutely incredible how I feel now. So, if you are 40, 50, 60 or 70, 70 year olds do this, loads of them. Uh, once you start, you know, typing in sledding, on an amateur level like we're doing. It'll open a whole new world up for you. Yes, it does take effort to buy this sled. Yes, it does take effort to get the weight. Yes, it takes effort to do it two or three times a week. You don't even have to do it as far as I do it. I've built up to that. You can do it a third of that, a quarter of what I've just done, right? But the point is, if you want to feel 25, 35 again, even though you may be 40, 50, 60, 70 or 80, then I heartily recommend sledding. Stallone, Schwarzenegger, right? The reason why they can keep at this high level of intensity, um, acting in films, directing films, you know, real estate, carry on businesses, staying focused, is because sledding is an investment for your mind and your heart, right? It, it, it's an investment in the sense of right? It stops you getting ill. Since I've been doing sledding, I probably get a cold once a year before. I'd get it three, four, five times a year. I'd get ill a lot. Sledding has changed my life. And so the reason I've done this video, although I have my own septic tank TV channel and my septic tank business is because I just wanted to show you a trade secret of what I do either first thing in the morning or in the afternoon or late at night to keep myself active, to keep myself energized. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching this live broadcast. It really was live and you saw me, you know, working up a sweat tonight, but now you can see I'm primed, I'm loaded and I'm ready to go. So listen, you take care and I'll speak to you soon.